Hello YouTube and welcome to Steam Link on iOS and Android. Um, right now we're playing on a Samsung Galaxy S7. And if you don't know what Steam Link is, it's a feature that lets you play your PC games on basically any device now. Um, this is the beta version of the app on Android, so have you ever wanted to play like Rocket League or PUBG or GTA Online from your phone? Well now you can. So you know what, let's go ahead and just start something here. Um, let's go ahead and why not go with um, let's do, let's do player known battlegrounds. Controller configuration required. This game wasn't designed for controllers, but you can play it with your Steam controller. Oh, whatever. If that's dumb, you know what? Fine. If it's being dumb with that, then fine. We'll do we'll do GTA Online. Play GTA Five. Let's just do that. Why not? Did not shut down last time. Okay, hang on. Let me go on the PC thing here. Uh, normal. I don't know. Don't ask me. Now, hopefully, when it goes into the game, the phone doesn't stop recording. Because sometimes when it switches to Windows, it's a little bit weird. Because what I'm seeing right now is when it's in Steam Link, it shows it on the PC as well. Oh, boy. I'm actually hearing the game audio on the phone. That's hilarious. Hang on, let me turn that down a little bit. Goodness. This is kind of weird seeing GTA on uh, the phone right now. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. I'll put the phone over to the right there, so if it is still making audio noises, it'll be there. This is very, very cool. I'm liking this already. This is still recording, correct? Yes, it is, okay. I just wanna make sure it's still recording. Um, let's do story mode, please. And everything that's controlled right now, other than the keyboard and mouse, this is the control, the Xbox One controller, Bluetooth connected to the phone. So, and I have a hefty internet speed, as you know, from previous videos and stuff like that. So you definitely want to have a very good connection, because if you don't, you're going to run into some issues. So I'm really interested to see how this game will run once we get into it, because obviously all... The hardware and, you know, power is coming from the PC, so I'm interested to see how the phone handles just getting that footage from the PC to the phone, which so far it's looking pretty clear. It's almost looking like I'm capturing it from the PC, but I'm sure that'll change once we get into the game here. Alright, here we go. Oh, actually, it's looking still pretty good. Oh, oh there we go. There's some There's some frame drops right there. Oh, there it is. There it is. Because obviously the frame drops aren't happening on the PC side of things. But I mean, still considering this is all wireless, and it's going to a phone, and you're playing a G... You know, that's still pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. I mean, look at this. Uh-oh. What is this menu? I don't even know. What that Return to game, please. <laughs> please. Well, that kind of sucks. How do you change the camera, then, if you... Okay, interesting. Oh, maybe you can hold it? Nope. All right, well... <laughs> obviously not... Uh-oh. Oh, God. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're, <laughs> we're fine. I was about to say, let's get into a car here. And uh, see how the phone will handle that. Okay, next time this doofus calls. Because I never even played the campaign yet, so... All those stupid phone messages and crap. Gameplay drive-by control. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. There we go. Alright, here, let me answer the phone call. Man, even driving, it's handling pretty well. I mean, there's still some frame drops, though. Oh, God. Still some frame drops every so often. Oh, God. I'm too busy looking at the phones. I'm crashing into everything here. Honestly, it's a lot more impressive than I thought it was going to be. I'm not going to lie. It's looking pretty solid. Sure, there's some frame drops here and there, but that's still pretty amazing. That I'm playing the game on my phone. That's crazy. But alright, there's GTA 5. Let's go ahead and go back. Exit game. Close. Alright, good, that's still recording. 
All right, so there's GTA on the phone. That's still crazy to think. Um, let's do... Hang on. You know what? Um, oh, I was going to do City Skylines, but I don't know if that's going to really work for us. Because I want to do everything through the controller. Because obviously, if you are wanting to play this on the phone, um, I don't think you're really going to have a keyboard with you. Because then why, just, why play it on the phone then? Um, let's see. So these are the only ones that I can play right now? I don't, I don't understand why there's like six different menus for games. Oh, duh, because these are the ones that are actually... In, okay, I'm dumb. I am dumb. Um, let's do... Well, I mean, honestly, you know what? Let's just do player on... Oh, Jesus. Player on Battlegrounds. Um, just because I'll have to use the keyboard, though, but you can still see how the performance is on the phone from there. Um... It's kind of weird that there's no controller interface, but if you have the Steam controller, then oh, it works fantastic. I don't have a Steam controller because I don't, I don't really see myself using this feature very much. But the Steam community access while playing. I like how it still shows like you have <laughs> a Steam controller going on. Can I actually do the controller at all? Let's see if we can. There's an event mode going on. Yeah, I can't use the controller, dang it. Well, actually, it's not even plugged in. Oh, I don't want to do that through... Okay, whatever. We'll just do it with the mouse and keyboard for now. I guess we'll do the event mode, because I don't even know what this is. Ten teams fight in five-man squads. That sounds boring. Let's just do solo. Whatever, just start. <laughs> I really wish I could use the controller, but, I mean, Steam controller works with all of these things, because that's just how it's made. I guess the Xbox controller doesn't have that same configuration, which is kind of weird, but whatever. We'll just do it with mouse and keyboard. It's still running on the phone, of course, that you're seeing, so... Let's see how long this takes to get into a match here. Oh my god, look at the mouse! <laughs> that looks awesome. Look, I'm making a universe today. It's a, oh, it's gone. Dang it, I was so excited. I bet this is going to handle as well. As it did with GTA. Because if it does that frame drop again, you really don't want that for this type of game. With GTA, it's not as bad of an issue since it's single player. But I guess if you're you know, doing stuff on GTA Online as well. The thing is, I'm not really sure where this comes into to play. It's like, who's going to be like, okay, I'm in the mood to play right now. I'm, I'm next to my computer, but I don't want to play on my monitor. I want to play on the phone. Like I just don't understand how many people are actually going to use this. And where it actually comes into play. But oh my god, look at that. So far, no frame drops yet. That's surprising. And just so everybody knows, I am recording on the phone still. There you go, now you can see it. Wait, what? <laughs> what in the world? I'm actually controlling the screen, the camera with the touch screen on the phone. That's funny. But my goodness, so far, still running good. Look at that. <laughs> that is so cool. My goodness. We'll just head to this town, see how it goes. And I'm going to I'm going to play strictly on the phone. I'm not going to look at my monitor. I want to see I mean it's far away from me, but you know, it's fine. It's okay. <laughs> I'll get a nice landing there. Get a nice landing. There we go. Oh, hello. Okay, not gonna lie. The phone's too far away. I'm gonna go to the monitor. <laughs> I'll glance over at the, the phone still, though, just to see how it's doing. But not gonna lie, it's doing much better than I had anticipated it doing, especially for just being a beta app. Because I think the full release is gonna be on the 22nd. But like I said, you have to have some pretty hefty internet for this stuff to work nice. Because, I mean, obviously, if you don't, it's not going to look too good, and you're probably going to get a lot more stuttering and such. But, man, this is stuttering less than uh, GTA did. I thought it was going to be the other way around. Ooh, and a scar. My goodness. Getting all kinds of luck going on today. Kind of sucks that I don't have audio because it's going through the phone when you go to Steam Link, but... All right, there's no way we're not going to be running into anybody over here. I just don't believe so. I mean, god dang it, we're in the middle of the big city here. 
I'd be highly surprised if we don't get shot at. Because every time I'm trying to find somebody in any game, like OCRP or this, it's just, I never seem to find it. But when I don't want to find anybody, everybody's there. It's like, god dang it, man. Man, no wonder I quit PUBG. Oh, <laughs> god dang it. Like, this is the most of my matches, it seems. Running around for five hours and then get shot or something like that. It's like, where is everybody at? And I thought going to a town like that would have spawned some, you know, get close to some people, but we went through that whole town over there, nothing, and now we're just in the middle of nowhere. Ugh. I haven't seen one person running around at all, either. It's been complete emptiness out here. I'm not even having the hand on the mouse anymore at this point. I'm just kind of running it. Like, ugh, God, I don't know why I picked this game. I was gonna die running off this cliff. We can only hope. Of course not. Of course not. 50 people. This is such a slow match, it's not even funny. I don't even know how long we've been going for, but 50 people still alive? It feels like it should be a lot lower. Oh, yeah. And most of these people are dying from play zone or falling, too. Like, they're not even running into other people. Oh, my God. Oh, look, there's a care package. Might as well go for it, since there's nobody for the next hundred miles around here. I mean, there's literally nobody running around. There's no vehicles. There's nothing happening. Oh... Ah, oh, this is one of the new vehicles, too, that they added a long time ago. Let's try to drive this thing around, alright? Get some action. Oh, look, the dice even roll around. That's kind of nice. It's not the only exciting thing that's happened this whole time. I regret picking this game. Oh, you getting shot at? Wow, okay. Chill out, dude. Chill out, man. Come on, now. We're all friends. Okay. I always love that, too. Can I just get killed at this point? Oh, good. There was somebody there. See, look. Woo! 20 minutes of that just to have that happen. Who cares? Jesus Christ. At least this is done with. Holy crap. Oh, it goes right back to that. Okay, perfect. Well, all right. I regret picking stupid PUBG for that, but you kind of get the point of what I'm showing you here. You can play PC games from your phone. Still really have no clue what in the world you would use this for, but hey, there must be interest for it somewhere. I don't know where, but if I'm by my PC, I don't see me playing uh, on my phone just because I can. <laughs> so I just thought I'd show it to you guys, I'll let you see what Steam Link is all about on Android, and well, it's obviously the same on iPhone. And all that good stuff. So, again, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And uh, be sure to tell me what you guys think of it. So, I will talk to you guys next time. See ya.